Hi guys, I'm sorry for the lateness. Just waiting for Steph to get back from New York with the camera and also doing 700 takes of this trying to get said camera to actually work. Um, I have things written down today. Um, as for pronouns, I prefer female pronouns and um, gender neutral pronouns. Either one is fine. I have no real preference um, as far as that concerned. Um, v is pretty cool. Um, I don't like male pronouns from friends and acquaintances. Um, if I get male pronouns from strangers, I kind of get a kick out of it, I must admit. Um, I kind of want to run with it and make up like a second identity and like be a secret agent or something, I don't know. But um, as far as genderqueer is concerned, I feel that I have a very fluid gender presentation. Um, sometimes I'm coming off as much more masculine, sometimes I'm coming across as much more feminine, sometimes people just give me the look, you know. And um, I don't feel like I'm more myself um, one way or the other or something entirely different. It's all me, it's just how I'm feeling that day. Um, I go through phases like you wouldn't believe. Um, sometimes I'll be into the skirts and dresses and the frills for a little while, and then like lately I've just wanted to wear the dude jeans and what have you. So looks wise, I shift around a lot. Um, ultimately, I keep coming back to a sort of androgynous ideal for myself. Um, Ginger queer means whatever. I do what I want. Um, I have a lot of room to play and a lot of room where I feel comfortable gender-wise. And um, I like that word, too. I sort of went looking for a name for the way I felt about my gender identity. Um, I know some pe so many people who found so much um, strength in their female identities and their male identities and their trans identities. And um, I know a lot of people go blah, 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 labels, but names have power. And sometimes I feel like choosing one. And this is one that I've chosen.